talking uh, with Bruce about dealing with an uncomfortable situation for some at home. Now, I wanted to talk to all of you about just dealing with awkward or uncomfortable situations. It's fun to talk about as long as yeah. I'm not the one in the <laughs> awkward situation. I'm not very confrontational. So um, it's nice to hear how you guys get through it. And I'm going to start with you. Yeah. So when you find yourself in that awkward situation, what do you do? Do you pretend it's not happening? No. Do you deal with it? Well, I first acknowledge it. You so acknowledge it. This is a little awkward. It, you just you acknowledge say that. it. You just say that. That's a little. So you run into an, your ex at a wedding. Right. And the last time you saw that person, you threw a plate at his head. Yes. So that's a little awkward. It's awkward so a that's bit. a little awkward. Yeah. Maybe there's some humor depending on the circumstance. But then here you either address the awkward yeah. or you move on. So the move on thing. Here's I was uh, with a friend in a public place and she started to cry. Okay. And I said. Do you want to talk about it or do you want to move on? And she said, move on. So here's what you do. Okay. You point to the first thing you see yes. and you say, I need that in blue. <laughs> That's what you say. I need that in blue. Okay. And then it makes no sense. Yeah. And so you both laugh. Your audience is like, what is he talking about? But in the cut, he's like, I need that in blue. I totally need one of these in blue. And she has no idea what you said, and you move on. That's hilarious. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It, that it works awesome. with kids, too, when they're fighting and you tell mm -hmm. each other to kiss each other's armpits. Yeah. Yeah. They're just like, ah, ha, ha, that's, that's so funny. Crazy. The fight's over, yeah. magically. That's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> Do that with adults. Same, kiss same. each other's armpits. OK. OK, um, Rabin, I want to ask you this question. I get the feeling you're probably pretty confrontational. I'm Am very I right? confrontational. And I think it comes from the many years I've been a nanny. You know, in the early days, I was actually taken advantage of, to be quite right. honest, in terms of being asked to work overtime, etc. Mm. So just to speed it up a little bit, yes, I have absolutely no, no problem whatsoever talking to someone and calling it on. Yeah. I really don't. And I was in a situation a few years ago where I was working for a single father. He'd lost his wife. It was a very sad time. But he had taken to drinking. So the first thing I decided to do, because it got a little awkward, I'm living in the house. Don't want to be in the house with a drunk, yeah. right? I, you know, I'm a woman myself, and it was affecting the relationship with the children. I went to the liquor cupboard and I stuck a sticky label on, a, a message, and it said something to the words of, it's not going to make the pain go away, but it probably will make your children go away. Mm. And he never said anything for the longest time, and then we were having dinner one night, kids are gone, he goes, by the way, I got the message. I, Thank you for caring. Oh, Basically, wow. that was Very it. Nice. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and it was kind of over. I didn't find it easy to approach him because of the circumstances. Yes. He, you know, he was going through a sad moment and he'd lost his wife. Right. So I was trying to, how do I deal with that? That's not a confrontational moment. Hey, you need to stop drinking and we need right. to have this chat. wasn't going to work. Mm -hmm. Any other reason? I'm going to call it because it'll make me sick if I don't. Yeah. That's right. It gives me sleepless nights. It gives me stomachache. And I have to call it. Yeah.